Welcome back, back to La La Land on CRN Digital Talk. I'm Brett Chapin. That's Daisy Egan. We're here with guests Scott Nevins and Ryan O'Connor. Give us a call, guys, at 1-800-336-2225. That's 1-800-336-2225. <laughs> there it is. Um, so you were telling us about Musical Mondays. Yes, yes. yes every Monday at uh, Eleven Eye Club, eighty-eight eleven Santa Monica Boulevard, and it's this big salute and uh, kind of love letter to everything musical, whether it be movies or Broadway or you know standard singers. And we have guest stars from TV and theater, cabaret, Broadway. I um, will say, you guys, that you know I took a four-year, about four-year, three-ish year break from acting. And it was Ryan O'Connor that got me back in. You SOB. <laughs> uh, Thank you, Ryan. He, he asked me uh, to come My to Musical fault. Mondays, and I was like, no, I don't really do that anymore. I'm not performing anymore, mostly just because I was terrified. And uh, finally, I was like, all right, all right, I'll do it. And I was like, oh, I remember this. this and she fun. killed. Because many people don't know that Daisy and I did a movie together mm. years <laughs> and years and years What ago. movie? The film adaptation of Tony and Tina's Wedding. Really? Which has never been released. Thank God. And ironically, last night, Daisy and I, I asked Daisy to come with me and do something I do every year, which is I work with the middle school kids at Paul Revere Middle School in Pacific Palisades when they do their musicals, and I always bring Broadway guest stars. And the director is Nancy Cassaro, who is one right. of my dearest friends, who is the creator and original Tina. Mm-hmm. And I Tony told Tina's her, wedding. I said, oh, by the way, I did the movie of Tony and Tina's wedding and this dark cloud passed over her face. Oh. She said, <laughs> oh, we'll talk. Yeah. And she, so you we know, did and over some wine. It's a dark cloud for everyone involved in that yeah. film. I yeah. heard it was a you-know-what show. It was. Well, it was, it was, it just shouldn't have happened. No. It just shouldn't have happened. And to, uh, for people who don't know, Tony and Tina's Wedding is a show that ran in New York for years and is still running. Still running, yeah. And it's all is over it the really? world wow. where you go to an actual wedding and an actual reception of it's this big, crazy it's Italian it's family. Really fun. Yeah, I didn't get it when I went to go see it because I was young and somebody came, you know, one of the actors came up to me and was like, oh my God, I used to babysit you. And I was like, no, you didn't. <laughs> you just didn't <laughs> get what was going on there. You know, I did that show. You did? You I did, did? I did it off Broadway oh, yeah, as a yeah. guest star for Gay Pride month they had me come in because i was doing serious satellite radio at the uh-huh. time and in new york and it sold out and they were like would you want to come to vegas and i did it in oh, vegas for awesome. six months I as well yeah yeah i was the gay brother the gay brother yeah so Shock. so um scott and i last night did this did this broadway <laughs> broadway night thing for these kids at, at potty mouth <laughs> <laughs> i was I, within a bit four of minutes yeah it's she awesome. dropped the f-bomb in front of, of the course. kids yeah of course she did over a piece of pizza I don't know what's oh, Daisy, I don't know what's effing wrong with me. <laughs> I came out of the womb. I was like, that was effing annoying. So feisty. So anyway, um, we're the kids had just done a number, and uh, the teachers or the Nancy, I guess, announces, "Okay, there's pizza. Go get your pizza." And one of the little girls goes up to the choreographer and goes, "Don't the Follies girls need to be fitted?" And he's like, "Oh yeah." And she goes, <laughs> "For their costumes." For their for our costumes, she goes. He says, "Oh yeah, you need to get fitted." She goes, "Um, don't you think that we should be fitted?" Uh, before we eat the pizza <laughs> and this girl was like 11 Yikes. and skinny and s- very skinny and so it became born actress and then there was the kid who uh came up to me afterward and was like because we had gone around in a circle and said i was like tell me who you are in character and tell me about yourself you know as the character and your and your favorite food and so there was this one kid who was like you could tell from the get-go that he was like i am a method actor he's like 14 <laughs> he comes up to me after and he's like i'm a little upset I really don't feel like I did a very good job when we were sitting in the circle. Um, and I, I just felt like, I feel like I let you down and let myself down. I was like, oh, Leave honey. Leave the business. Yeah, don't start with this now. Kids are yeah. so He's a young yeah, Christian Bale. But his mom was standing there going, right. tell her, tell yeah. her, tell her. Yeah, I mean, that oh, is the, those are those actors off. that drive you nuts. People who like do something go, I know I was bad. Ugh. Oh, they apologize. You know what I actor. say? I go, you were. Yeah. Even if they weren't, I go, yeah, you were. You were I mean, awful. just to shut them up. Yeah. I'm so <laughs> glad I'm not an actor like you people. <laughs> Oh, I, I saw I saw a answers. tweet that said uh, I just so overheard a mother say to her child, "You want to, uh, you should pay attention at this audition because you want to be Miley Cyrus, don't you?" Oh, I am, am in L.A. Funny tweet. The guy was, but yeah, yeah. Oh. you don't say that to your kids. That's gross. Yeah. yeah. Wow. I will never forget my audition for Lame Is when I was nine years old. And I went in. It was an open call audition. I was number fifty three on the list. And we go into this giant holding room, and we walk in. And I am wearing a lemon yellow sweater with a g- like two sizes too big for me, a giant stain right in the middle, black stretch pants and red Converse sneakers. All the other girls are wearing, I kid you not, 
white communion dresses with sausage curls and patent leather shoes, auditioning to play Cosette. And their moms were all like, don't touch your hair, don't touch your nose, don't touch your face, don't you? And my mom's like reading her New Yorker, like, just get me out of here. Crazy. I was lucky. Show yeah, me. you were. Most stage parents are not like no. that. My parents were not stage parents. My mom didn't let me. I did audition. Good. I was in the final three for Free Willy, though. <gasps> really? Yeah. That would have been amazing. Right? But then where's he? He's not exactly. hosting Musical Monday. So he I isn't, that. right? Oh, He's not here <laughs> doing La La Land. Guys, call in and talk to our guests, uh, Scott Nevins and Ryan O'Connor. You're making me look bad in front of my new co-host, honestly. 800-336-2225. bad. Are That's we bad? 800-336-2225. We we'll be back on La La Land with Brett and Daisy on CRN Digital Talk. This is a 